Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for getting on tonight. I'm coming from John 10, 27, 33. And it says, my sheep listen to my verse. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they should never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hands. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. I and the father are one. Again, his Jewish opponents picked up stone to stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good works from the father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not you for any good words they reply but from blemishing because your emerged man claimed to be God when I had read this today and I've been doing my studying it says how to satisfy your soul I know at many nights and many days I always sometimes be up at night sometimes I can't sleep through the day but I know God always there because he always give me a word or have me praying in the spirit. So the communication with Jesus is com communicating with God. Those who met Jesus understood he was claiming to be God. When he said, I and the father are one and the father is in me and I'm the, I'm in the father. There was no <clears throat> ears of his hearers. His opponents understood because you are murdered man, human being claimed to be God, and they pick up stones to stone him. Jesus communicated with his disciples and he continued to communicate with us. He says, my sheep listen to my verse. I know them and they follow me. We see here the marks of a true man, a woman of God. See, God is trying to show us how to satisfy our soul. So first, we have to believe in Jesus. There is a contrary in this passage between those who believe in Jesus and those who do not believe. Belief in Jesus means believing in him when he says, I am God's son, and putting your trust in him. Then he come back at us and saying, number two, knowing Jesus. Jesus said, my sheep listen to my verse. I know them. To be a man or woman of God is to recognize the following of the verse of Jesus. This is what defines a man of God and woman of God. Not so much knowledge about Jesus, but actually knowing him. This is then followed up by the wonderful declaration that Jesus also know us. And then finally, following Jesus, Jesus said, they follow me. It affects your life, as Jesus said elsewhere. But their fruit, you will recognize them. James wrote, faith by itself, if it is not accommodated by action, is dead. The primary evidence of faith is love. Those who follow Jesus will follow the example of love. All Jesus is trying to show us is that if you believe in him, that you know him and that you follow him. He will always satisfy our soul. And you have to always remember Jesus and God is one. God came off his throne for us to on earth so we could be who we are today to let us know that if he could do it, we could do it. But we have to believe. We have to know. And we have to follow Jesus promised every man or woman of God, I give them eternal life. This is not just about quantity of life. It is about the quantity, just satisfying our spiritual hunger and thirst in a relationship with Jesus. We find this deep soul satisfaction that cannot be found anywhere else. And I could accommodate to that because when I was in the world, I still was missing something. I go out there, I even drink, but I like to dance. And when I still got home, I couldn't go to sleep. I couldn't function. But when I found Jesus, 
And when I get up through the night and I start praying in the spirit or talking to God, I go right back to sleep because I realize that I'm nothing without him. And that's why when I read this, it says how to satisfy your soul it is telling us the truth that we have to know how to deal with this life trials, even while things ain't going the way it's supposed to go in our life and knowing that we should have peace because God never leave us and he never forsake us. Jesus promised that this relationship with him will go on forever. It start now, but it's eternal. Those who follow Jesus will never perish. This is a gift. I give them eternal life. It cannot be earned, nor could it be lost. Jesus promised no one could snatch them out of my hands. No one could snatch them out of my father's hands. There may be many struggles and temptation along the way, but ultimately the hands of Jesus and the hands of the father are engaged together in protecting you. A Christian may lose their job, their money, their family, their liberty, and their life, but they can never lose eternal life. So as you go about your day and nights, and when things get so hard, remember how God can satisfy your soul. He never leave us. He tells us it's eternally. And if you believe in Jesus, knowing Jesus, and follow Jesus, it won't lead you wrong. So I thank all tonight from listening, and I pray that I gave you something to chew on for a little while and to keep you going through your weeks and weeks and weeks and years while you're still here on this earth. Because God loves us more than anything, but we have to love him too. And we have to show him we love him. And we also have to walk in forgiveness daily. That's the only way we're going to be able to satisfy our soul. He says 70 times 70. And everyone, I want to thank you all for being on here tonight. And follow. you can follow us or subscribe to us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. And get some followers to come with you. Put it out here. Let them know that HIZ is out on YouTube and Facebook. And tonight we have what you say on Hope and Zion International HIZ on Instagram. And it's for seven o'clock. And I pray all come out and hear us. We thank you. And Father God, as we come to you right now, Father God, we just asking you right now, Father God, to just give us the love. And Lord God, we thank you that we can listen to your verse that we know who you are and we have eternal life with you, Father God. We thank you for your promises that we will never perish and no one can snatch us out of your hands, Father God. We thank you that in the relationship we find with you, Father God, gonna be our soul will be satisfied, Father God, both now and forevermore. We thank you, Lord, for being our daddy. And we thank you for putting our brother on this earth. In the name of Jesus, amen. <laughs>